In recent years, researchers at the Shi Shuangban Na Tropical Botanical Garden have dedicated their efforts to restoring wild populations of endangered orchids. Finding the right fungi for orchid seed germination is crucial for artificial cultivation. This single step has taken scientists over a decade to master. Epiphytic orchid symbiotic fungi typically grow on tree bark and leaf litter, while terrestrial orchids fungi are found in the soil around tree roots. Fungi are cultured extensively, washed three to five times to remove sugars and prevent mold, then filtered and weighed. The fungi are then mixed with agar in a one-to-one -one ratio to create a fungal powder. Once it dries, orchid seeds are added and the seed packets are ready to return to nature. The ancient tea gardens of Shi Shuangban Na are vital habitats for orchids. While the tall trees provide shade for the tea plants, the lower layers of seedlings and shrubs support a diversity of bird and insect life, just like any natural forest. Taking a closer look, one can find a large number of orchids, mosses, and ferns thriving on the trunks of the tea trees. Seven hundred seed packets have been prepared, each containing one hundred and eight noble dendrobium seeds. On these hospitable tree trunks, their new life will begin. Over the next two months, fungal hyphae will penetrate their seed coats, enter the embryonic cells, and form fungal masses that release nutrients, ensuring the successful germination of the seedlings. This technique, mimicking the natural reproduction of epiphytic orchids, increases the average germination rate to 11.1%, significantly higher than the natural rate of 1 in 10,000. 